Hello everyone, welcome to SFP Sad channel. Uh, this is the second video in the integration series. So in this video we are going to cover REST outbound integrations in Salesforce. That is basically Salesforce calling an external system through a REST API caller. So this will be a really simple example uh, just to keep things things simple and to demonstrate the process. We'll be using a really simple API in this example. But there will be in future there will be another video with more complex example. So in this example, what we are going to do is we are going to go from Salesforce to GitHub REST API. We are going to make a REST API call from Salesforce to GitHub API. Then we are going to get some data from GitHub API and we are just going to print that in Salesforce in system.debug. So in order to get started with all these things, we have a prerequisite. So in Salesforce, if you have to make an API call to any other external system, you will need to first add a remote site setting. This is basically in Salesforce, you are saying, okay, I'm, my Salesforce instance is okay to call to this API and get data. Basically, it's a security step just to make sure that uh, we, are, we are authorizing our code to call to that API. So before going to the step of adding this uh, remote site setting we'll first quickly check the github rest api we are going to we are going to hit a uh, salesforce sorry we are going to hit github rest api that returns uh, details of every, details about every github user so we need to pass the github handle here so we have a github api that says uh salesforce course is my handle similarly say for example microsoft has uh, their own github repo and uh, if you hit this endpoint you will be getting the details so actually the data that we get from the api is in raw json format and uh, firefox is styling it so that it is in a more presentable manner so the first step uh, like we mentioned the first step is to add a remote site settings to your salesforce instance so let's go ahead and do that. So you go to Salesforce setup. Then you add a remote site setting there. So here you need to usually add the base part of the URL. So I am going to copy this base part of the URL and I am going to add a new remote site setting. Yeah, so I have so at this point I have authorized Salesforce to go and uh, hit GitHub API. Now if I try to access this API from code, Salesforce is not, not going to throw any error. But uh, if if suppose there is now this setting is not present in my Salesforce instance, if I try to still connect to that API, it will give me an error. So let's without much delay, let's go ahead and get started with our code. So I have created an empty class. Uh, to integrate with the Salesforce, sorry, to integrate with the GitHub API. So this, if you are, in case if you are wondering, this particular VS Code instance is connected to my Salesforce instance that is shown here. So whenever I make any code change here, it will be going to the same Salesforce instance. Let's uh, bump up the font. Yeah, so the first step that we have to do is to create a method. So in my case, I am going to create it as a static method. Uh, I am, uh, so in, in my scenario, I am not, uh, let's just uh, return the response that we are getting from the API. So it's going to return a string response that we are going to get from the API. Then we are going to give a name for the method. It's uh, get uh, github uh, user details so then we are going to so here what we are passing is actually the github user handle so github so this is our method and inside this the first step of calling out to an external system is to create an http instance so http 
so it's basically initializing a built-in class in Salesforce this class is used to transport the data to the system get the data all these things and the next step is to create a request so it for that also there is another standard object called HTTP request so we'll be creating a request so this HTTP request has certain parameters that we need to set in order to go to GitHub API, get this data and pull back. So first we need to tell this request which endpoint it needs to go to. So in my case, set. Uh, so here you can see we are saying this request to go to, uh, to this particular endpoint. So the endpoint is going to be the same as what we have seen here. So you can see that uh, everything before this is static so I am going to copy that so then after this we need to append the github handle of the user so github user handle so this is the endpoint that we want uh, this API call to go to and uh, in there is a type of request that should go to so say you are sending some data from your Salesforce instance to the external system then you'll be using a different method called post request in this case you are just uh, going to that api and uh, asking it to give you some information so it's a get request so you'll be doing request dot set method and here the method is get please note that uh, all of these are not case sensitive so even if i give lower case or higher uh, uppercase it will work so the next step is to initialize a response that we want to get from the api so i am going to call it as response and the next uh, this is a step where we are actually going to take this request and send it over http to github api so the step is http dot send request so at this point we just take the uh, we, we just call this endpoint uh, requesting that it is a get method so basically we pass our request and uh, basically we take the request and send it to the HTTP API so if say this operation is success you will be getting the response so in our case uh, to keep everything simple let's uh, just return the response that we are getting so return response dot get body so this will take the response that we get from github api and return so let's save it let's deploy to salesforce so once it is deployed to salesforce you will be able to go to your salesforce instance and execute it so you can use developer console to execute this code yeah here we have our developer console so here what we are doing is so this is the actual part of the code that we need to execute in order to get this data from the api so it's basically telling inside a github api class take this static method and pass this variable into that and if, since we wrote the class we know it will just take the uh, handle that is github handle that is passed here it will send it to github api and it will return the response that we are getting from the api so just but in order to see that response we need to print it so i am wrapping this in a system.tbx statement let's execute it yeah, so you can see that it was successfully able to go to the endpoint and uh, get the data so in in debug log uh, salesforce will cut uh, some cut some part of the log if it is going beyond set length so here you can see the starting of the log is the same there is a login salesforce id all these things and uh, here you can see that the data is it is the initial part of this response that is getting printed so from this we can say that we have properly integrated uh, salesforce to github basically we made a rest call out from salesforce to this external endpoint and we got some response just to prove that it is working we can probably use a different github handle 
let's try Microsoft so when we make a call to Microsoft here we can see that uh, uh, that data is coming back and this is the data that we got so here it says it's Microsoft and uh, node ID ID everything is different so our integration is working we are able to go from Salesforce to github pull some data and uh, display it back in Salesforce so just to recap you guys these are the steps we did first we went to Salesforce settings and added a remote site settings authorizing Salesforce to access github api then we created a rest we created a class that was called github api and we added a method inside that called get github user handles user details and then we wrote code inside that method to go hit github rest api and retrieve data from there and at the end we are printing data that we obtained from the github api awesome yeah so stay tuned for more lessons